Uh, hey everybody, this is Larry. Ooh, this is day 13 or 14. Yeah, 13. Day 13 of the Leadco Daily October Challenge. Uh, hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm and, and all the good stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I took a nap, so I just woke up, even though it is like 9 p.m. in New York. Probably a dubious idea. But anyway, I don't know. It is what it is. Let's get started on today's problem, which is uh, construct binary search tree from pre-order traversal. Okay, this is pretty. Um, I don't know if this is easy or hard. It is just that um, it does come up a lot in when you learn about these things. Um, so, in, at least in algorithm and stuff like that, they would tell you how to do it. So I, I think I have some idea about this, but let's actually read the problem. I'm just reading it from the the name. Uh, this, sorry, there's like a lot of random stuff on my desk for some reason. Anyway, okay, so give it a pre-order traversal, okay. Construct the tree and return the root, okay. Uh, okay, so let's think about what, what the, for these problems, I, yeah, think about the invariant is, and then let me look at what, what the thing is. So n is 100, so that's that's um that's interesting and that that means that you could do something like an n square. Um you can even do something in n cube, but I don't think that is necessary, but n square is definitely fine. So that's something that I would think about. So then now in uh, the invariant is that okay, so the pre-order means what does pre-order mean, right? Pre-order means that the first node that we see is going to be on the top right? So then here um, what's, what's our output? What's this output mean? Oh, I guess that's just a tree and string representation. Okay, so we return a tree node. Okay, so yeah, so we get an 8, and then that means that everything, bef um, so then now we do a, a period, if you will, by that 8, right? So everything, uh, everything that's smaller than it, it's going to be to the left, and everything that's bigger than it, it's going to be to the right. And in the pre-order, that means that this is the next node and so forth. Okay. I think the way that I, I usually do this... Um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the way that I usually do this is... Hmm. I would say with a with a global variable, you can definitely do it in a little bit better. But, but I'm just gonna do it the n square way, and then we can play around with how how I would maybe optimize it. Uh, maybe I should t take a longer nap. I don't know. I haven't been sleeping much the last week for some reason. Uh, probably because I was staying up to watch Dodo or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's just the weather. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah. So let let's. From that though, you can definitely do something in n squared very trivially um, by, like I said, you look at the node and then you just divide left and right, right? So okay, so let's 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 look into that. Um, I would say um, I'm just trying to think whether you can do better in an easy way, but let's let's actually just start with that and then we'll figure it out, right? So. Ah, uh, um, hmm, how do we want to write this? Hmm, yeah, let's just do root is equal to none, maybe, and then return root. And construct, we have a node, and, and, yeah, maybe just left and right. Uh, left right is kind of weird, but yeah, it's fine. And then here, root to root is equal to construct. Uh, maybe just left and um, see, uh, sorry, friends, I'm a little bit. I don't know. Don't know. I'm just not feeling that well today. Maybe I don't know. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, let, let's actually construct this from here. If left is equal to right, then we have one node left. So let's just do return tree node of, uh, what, what is it, pre-order of left. Because it's equal to right, so it doesn't matter which one. Otherwise, um, 
you know, current root is equal to uh, tree node of pre-order of left. And then now we kind of um, basically what, what I'm doing is just constructing it from a, a segment of the pre-order traversal and then here now we have the first order so then now we keep we're going to the right until um some middle is equal to left plus one maybe yeah are, are these numbers unique i think that's the okay okay they are unique okay um Mm, yeah, so this is inclusive. So if pre-order of middle is greater than current root, then if that's the case, then we can, well, maybe even return, but break first. Then uh, current root dot left is equal to construct left plus one middle uh, no, because this is middle. If this is middle, is greater. So then this is middle minus one, right? Also, hmm, just in case, if this is the case, we return none. Otherwise, and then this is just middle and then right inclusive, right? Yeah. Otherwise. I guess in this case we can just return current root. Otherwise, then that means that middle is greater than right, in meaning or um, every suffix is or uh, every number in left plus one right is smaller than pre-order left. So that means that everything's to the left, right? And that's basically. Yeah, current root dot left is equal to construct left plus one uh, right, and then current root dot right is equal to none, and then return current root. I mean, I know that this is true, but I just wanted to point it out for a little bit of symmetry, maybe. Um, and here, of course, you can just actually do this. Uh, this is going to be all of n square, but we can we can definitely do better. But I just wanted to at least get it right first. Um, and here, if the first number is greater than that, oh, well, this would be an infinite loop because I don't increment. But yeah, if the first number is greater than th that already goes. Okay, let's give it a run. Did I click the mode? I think I clicked the multiple times, but oh, whoops. Uh, it's current root uh, dot value. Uh, that looks okay. So I think we're mostly good here. Uh, we can play around with some numbers. I don't know that this is... Yeah. Hmm. Whoops. Okay, maybe not. Okay, fine. Let's just give it a submit and then we'll we'll see what happens. And apparently I've solved this one, two, three different times. This is the fourth time. I didn't even remember this. Uh, but yeah, I think one thing about op prematurely optimized is that given n is 100, even n squared is going to be running really fast. So I wouldn't really worry about it. And I've done even earlier before. But yeah, so this is going to be n squared because for each... Um, because mm, because in the worst case um you have a linked list for example and this would go to the last element um so this would go to the last element before um yeah so you, this would go to the last element and therefore it's going to be n square because it just takes one element at a time and it calls this n time so this is going to be n square um you can get this down for sure um, I would practice that. Uh, uh, what? 
Sorry, friends. I'm struggling a little bit today just talking. I mean, I I don't know why. And you can see it. So my apologies. Having an off day. Uh, I don't I don't know. But you can kind of see with my code, and I think I probably have older videos. So maybe check out the older videos and let me know how that goes. Maybe today I'm doing a little bit bad. bad. But how did I do previously? Uh, did I do it the same way? Eh, at least I'm consistent, actually. It seems like I mostly did the same thing. Huh, huh, huh. Uh, actually, this is slightly cleaner. But, but yeah, uh, okay. I think that's all I have for today. I, I don't know. I... My words are escaping me, so maybe check out my older video. Um, apologies. Anyway, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I do have a good streak going, so oh well. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, and may hopefully tomorrow will be slightly better. My apologies. Anyway, bye-bye. Stay good.